Right, ladies and gentlemen, I have been waiting to make this video for a while, and it might be a bit of a long one, um, but there are a couple things that I, I want to I wanna talk about, and as you've probably guessed from the title, I'm going to basically break down why people cannot take losing on this game. And I do not put it on the foot of the player at all, it's the game. We're going to get into, into why people... Basically, no one can take losing on this game, me included. I am making this video after finishing fourth and third in two tournaments and losing to absolute nonsense uh when I, i'm talking mashing and characters being safe where they shouldn't be we're going to go through each character each character we're going to go through and i'm going to explain why each character is stupid some of the characters i don't know their moves um but you're, you're going to know basically what they're all about and the reason that i said i'm going to go through every single character in this game is because I feel like every single character in this game has their own level of stupid right down to the worst characters in this game because as a matter of fact there's no even there's no point in even showing you every character because you'll get the gist of it from seeing one character but we're going to the ones that are a bit more stupid than others <clears throat> let's start with Shang Tsung this character is uh, when you want to talk about brain dead characters you, you got to start Shang Tsung. You have to start. It's fitting that he's at the top of the roster. Ground Sparks, Hell Sparks, Hell Explosion, whatever the hell the stupid move is called. I don't know what they're all thinking. I don't know. But on top of that, his one pressure, one one pressure. Just It's just that like NRS. Come on, man. Like What the hell are you thinking? The one thing I'll give praise for with this character is his crushing blow requirement on his throw. They got it right there. They got it right. But I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later. Everything else is just like, it's just like, oh, this is brain dead. He does the health sparks. He does the forward sparks. He does the body drop, the corpse drop. And it's just like, at what point does the person using this character have to engage their brain? At what point does that happen? It doesn't. It doesn't happen. And I'm mainly focusing on that variation because it's hella dumb. I don't really need to talk about the other ones. One of them is useless. That's the problem with NRS. They might make one ridiculously dumb variation, and one's just useless. They throw a bunch of moves in there. Just give us customs. Let us do it ourselves. I know the game will be more broken, but just give us the goddamn thing. I scared the shit out of me. Let's move on. I don't even have to click on some of them. You guys already know. Shang Tsung is probably the worst... Uh, not Shang Tsung, sorry. Shao Kahn. <clears throat> probably the worst character in the game. Um, he needs buffs, but... The problem is, is that... You know, if you buff Sh uh, Shao Kahn, he's instantly going to become stupid because the game is just built around stupidity with the, the way the pokes work, the way the combos work, the way plus frames work, the way negative frames work. Like it's it's just a, it's just nonsense. Here's another nonsense character. Just like the reason that the things that make Frost irritating is that fireballs don't clash in this, so she just bombards you with fireballs constantly and then she's got really really good pokes so that if you do try to get in with some characters you get knocked straight back out and she's very very mashy as well the amount of times I've, play, I've played people and they just mash into the spin and the spin is safe you, like you're I think she she's you're both in a situation where you have to guess now who, what, who's going to do what and more often than not they'll just mash again and do the spin if you try to go for a throw Shield down to you, you get crushing blow. Why am I in a position where I have to guess what happens next? When she has executed a special attack and she's committed to it, but she's not unsafe. Do you, do you know how dumb that is, NRS? Someone, for the love of God, please show them this video over there. I don't know what goes through their heads. I would love to sit down and have a conversation with them. Nightwolf is another one. All he does, jab, 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 jab. This guy's got an overhead that converts into a full combo. Why is the overhead safe? Why is it safe? Why is it going to a string where he can remain safe? He's committed to an overhead that goes into a full combo. Essentially, it's like a suedo launcher. And yet, it's safe. I, I don't understand the logic. It makes no sense. I'm not going to talk too much about Spawn because I don't know much about him yet. I mean, the, the, the game has its issues in itself, so he's going to be impacted by the flawed design. Jax is just stagger, 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 throw, 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 throw. Constantly. Constantly. Constant. Just, it's just, there's no thought process that goes into it. He's, 
He's safe after every time, every stagger he does. Even the, the overhead punch, the one where he punches your head into the ground constantly, he's safe after it. You have to guess what happens next. Why is he safe? Do you guys know what he gets off that? His, his fists glow up, which means that he's, he's close to getting that crushing belt that does a ton of damage. And if he doesn't commit to it, he can go for a low. So I just why is it safe when it does that much damage and it has that much potential to sway the entire match? It's just like uh, Sonya has no archetype. This character can spam projectiles at full screen or mix you up up close. Whose bright idea was that? She's either a mix up character or she's not. Like they got it right with Scarlet to an extent. She is a keep away character. She doesn't really want you near her. Now I don't know, like why they did to Scott why what. They did what they did to Scarlet and not to other characters. It's very confusing. But Sonya, literally, you, you, the people that I play against that use her, mash of her constantly. And it's not their fault. I'm not insulting the players. I mean, obviously, certain people play this game because they know if they played another fighting game, they would get washed. Because this game just lets you do stupid shit. But she has no archetype. She is a fireball, a person with amazing fireballs, has a crush and blow on her fireball. If you, if you read the fireball, you jump over it, but she decides to burn some meter. She gets a crush and blow for, what, like 250 damage? What kind of nonsense is that? Johnny Cage, God forbid this guy gets you in the corner. God forbid this guy gets you in the corner. Ah, oh, whose idea was that? Did no one test this character before they put him online? Like, uh, he puts you in the corner and he's plus on everything, everything. NRS, again, do you not understand the concept of turns? Turns! When he finishes a string or finishes a special move, why is he still plus? Why is he still plus? But someone please explain that to me. What, so the guy in the corner now, he's just, he has to eat shit for the next 20 minutes? Or however long the, the goddamn match takes? I have to guess now if he's going to go high or if he's going to grab me. All because you don't understand how turns work. So stupid. So stupid. I don't know enough about Joker. I'm not going to comment on him. Scorpion is, is one of those characters where he has meter burn moves on block, like his teleport. Look, if you block Scorpion's teleport, he should not be allowed to meter burn it. Why the hell are you still in a mix-up after you've meter burned it? Do you know how infuriating that is? Now, I know they changed it from mid to high not good enough this guy teleports on you he can get a full combo if he meter burns it so if someone throws out a teleport they should not be allowed to meter burn it it's that simple why am I in a mix up for guessing right on a move that already breaks neutral absolutely stupid I, just, I do not understand the logic behind it Baraka I play this character I main this character but he is also stupid this character walks up to you presses 1 presses 1 presses 1 1 1 Presses one until you crack, and believe me, you're gonna crack. And then you eat forty percent. Now, where was the skill in that? Why is he? Why? Why? Like, the strike throw situation is just—it's a joke thing, fam. It's an absolute joke thing. Did like? How did they not pick this up from any other fighting game? Like, ah, ah. Jackie is just people just mash over constantly. All her variations, they just mash and mash and mash she's just buttons on buttons on buttons and you are constantly guessing you're eating chip it's buttons on buttons on buttons and then she'll do a dash punch the dash punch for whatever reason is not unsafe i cannot fathom why especially when it has a crushing blow on it if she commits to the dash punch knowing what she gets from it why is she uh, why is she safe why do i have to guess what happens next why why i nrs do you know what that reminds me when they do you know I'll save that for the end of the video let's just focus on the characters for now Sub-Zero another character where he walks up to you now you have to guess if he's going to go high or low and having a mix up is fine but if one if the high converts into full damage why does the low also convert into full damage do you know how stupid that is that, sh that, that shit is dumb it's dumb. I don't care what anyone says. This character, literally, you, you can pick Sub-Zero up at any point and you can do damage. He's got a neutral breaking move in the slide. You press a button out of time. Online, you, you 
barely react to that shit. It's hard enough offline. They just spam slide constantly, constantly, constantly. His low starter, which can convert into a string, the string is safe. Why is the string safe? <laughs> Why is this? Look, listen, yeah, if you're, if you have the ability to open people up with a high, with an overhead and a low, why is the low safe? Why? What, what, where is the sense in that? High risk, high reward, does that not mean anything to NRS? Jade, this player, I mean this character, actually I'm not even done with Sub-Zero yet. This character has a fireball that converts into full damage, yet you can't clash with the fireball. If I throw a fireball, his one goes right through it. If he if he meter burns it, it obliterates my fireball. Now please explain to me why a fireball that gives you a full screen combo obliterates other fireballs. It's dumb enough that fireballs pass through each other in this game, and I'll get to that in a minute. You've, you've heard me speak about it before. It's dumb enough that they do that. Why in the hell does the character that has a fireball that does a that converts into a combo? Why is his one the one that passes through other fireballs and obliterates them? Dumb, dumb. Whoever whoever made that decision at NRS, they were either drunk or they just wanted to mess with people, and they've done a great job of pissing people off. Jade, this character is just on autopilot constantly. I've never seen players down to as much than when they're using Jade. It is just astronomically annoying when you're fighting her online. It's not fun fighting Jade. It's not fun at all. The character is brain dead. A monkey could use her. Anyone that plays Jade, they know why they're playing her. I mean, the entire game is stupid, but Jade, she really is, she, she really takes it to another level. I could sit here and rant about her for hours. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make a separate video dedicated to this dumb character. Kung Lao. Now I have a personal hate for this character so this might be biased but I I just think that this character's strike throw game is silly. Kung Lao has basically been silly in every incarnation of a Mortal Kombat game that I can remember. Maybe the only one that he wasn't dumb in. I can't remember if he was. Maybe he was Deadly Alliance or Deception. I actually can't remember. It was one of them. Probably Deadly Alliance but yeah it's just, he's just dumb like Again, his stagger game, much like Jack's, is just too good. It's too good. Like there's there's too much risk in pushing the button when he's pressing on you. It's just like, ah, oh, come on, guys. Like, what what was the game plan here? If he commits to a string, he should also always be unsafe if he finishes the whole string. Uh, he's he's not as safe as some other characters, but this character is just, oh my god, because his strike throw game is so good. He'll get that throw at you, he'll get them Ip Man punches at you, and eventually he'll get the crushing blow, and that's what he's working towards, really. Again, it's a, it's a brain-dead strategy, but I don't put that on the players, it's because that's how this game was designed. I'm not going to say much about Katana, I don't, even know, I don't know much about her, other than her stupid fans, those, those Razor fans that swirl around her. Whoever thought that that was the buff she needed, or, or that that was a good idea, stupid. Stupid, it, that move is a turn stealer. And we don't need more of that in Mortal Kombat. We really don't. Now you get a lot of people that say, oh, Katana needs to be returned to her former glory. Maybe, but remove all the dumb shit. You want to give her more damage or, or whatever, better moves? I don't care, but like, it, why does she have that move that does incredible chip, does good damage on hit, and it's safe? Apparently it's not safe at certain ranges, which is, again, that's just like, okay, so I'm guessing basically if I'm going to, I'm going to get to hit or get hit. Liu Kang, oh, ugh, where do I start with this idiot? His forward four string is dumb. I know they nerfed it, it's still dumb. It's inherently a stupid string. Like the amount of options that he gets after the three initial hits, the guessing game that you have to work through is just its just like, okay, okay. I, I see someone was sleeping on the job when they put Liu Kang together. On top of being a great pressure character and having amazing staggers, staggers that are a little too good, like his back one, and his one two, I just, this character has amazing fireballs as well. His first variation has awesome fireballs, so he never really has to approach you in the first place. But he, when he does get up close, you're just stuck guessing between strike throw, strike throw, and then he has two crushing blows on his throws. Two, as if he even needed one. Ah, Cabal. Cabal is one of the characters that confuses me the most. 
this guy has not a single unsafe string not a single one you can't punish any string that he does you think that's bad okay this guy has no strings that you can flawless block in between i'm pretty sure i'm not getting that wrong this guy has no flawless blockable strings so you get players mashing strings on you i just played my friend spyware and it drove me up the wall now yes historically i've beaten spyware this time i lost and like i said people can't take losing this game because i understand when he gets angry so he should understand why i'm angry i lost to a bunch of bullshit not only was he waking up with down one which i found really weird but i couldn't i can't punish his strings on on top of that because fireballs pass through each other when he jumps in the air to throw a, a blade at me i can either stand there and get oppressed or i can choose to trade with him so i do my up clone now you would think if i got the read and i shot a fireball upwards that cancels out his fireball and puts us back in a neutral state no that's not what nrs does nrs lets the fireballs pass through each other and then he gets knocked halfway across the screen putting me in a bad position again and then we're just back in the same boat it were back in the same boat and then he gets a fatal blow and now i can't press any buttons because cabal's fatal blow is basically a teleport someone said it best they nrs makes characters to irritate people there is more common sense in a smash brothers match than a mortal kombat match kano is just mashy kano players mash harder than anyone i have not i've never played a kano player that wasn't mashing down one or mashing throw or just doing random shit and um, again it's not the player's fault the character is designed in a very mashy way this is a mash centric game hard mash hard hard mash with kano it's really really annoying but then on top of that his crushing blow for his overhead has one of the stupidest requirements now uh, we'll talk about crushing blows a little bit Aaron black <laughs> i don't know what the notation is for the string but you know that the three hit string where he's just constantly gun bucking you basically that's a dumb string he cancels into scud shot and then you have to guess again what's going to happen next and he is another one that has a fireball that passes through other fireballs. One shot will cancel it out, the second shot will get you. And his EX1 just passes right through it. And I, again, I just don't understand why. why. Why are there only two characters in this game where fireballs just... They just run right through people. Why is that not consistent across the board? It would, it would, uh, it would give such a layer of add ne much needed depth to this stupid game. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Devorah, I don't know much about her, to be honest, she looks like she suffers. Koal Khan's another one, where he, I don't know how, I don't think he's that great, but he is dumb. Because all the characters in this game with tick throws are inherently stupid, because the way tick throws work in Mortal Kombat is if someone's doing a string on you, they can cancel straight into a throw and more often than not it's going to hit, so that you're basically having to guess on block. It's not like Street Fighter where Zangief does a string or he does medium punch, medium punch, and then he cancels into uh, SPD, that the SPD is going to work. It's not, it's going to whiff completely. But in this, that doesn't happen. Tick throws in this game are so weird. I do not understand them, and I don't understand how that went over NRS's head. Sindel is one that I, I don't really know much about her, to be honest. I, I can't comment on her. I'm sure she has her own layer of dumbness like everyone else in this game. Collector's got tick throws, I don't need to talk about that again. Garrus has been nerfed so many times and he's still stupid. The character is inherently dumb, the design is dumb. I'm going to mainly talk about his sand trap. For the life of me, I don't know who NRS thought. Mm, do you know what a good projectile would be? One where sand appears beneath the opponent's feet. And they changed the crushing blow requirement so that he can just whiff two sand traps and then the next one on counter hit will count as a crushing blow i mean it was done before but oh my god is it dumb again I just, a tracking projectile that comes up from beneath you and, te and teleports him to you knowing that he's got great oki okay options to begin with with his throws it's just like you're just trying to irritate people in rs that's what you're doing terminator can't get in but when he does get in kiss your health bar goodbye because he's another sub-zero the guy is just like overhead 
this, 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 low, this, this, this. And it's just like, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, he struggled to get in, but now they can switch off their brain because I have to guess every single time. Guessing is not fun like that. It is not fun. Ugh. Cetrion. You know, I, I'm sure some of you know Aso Damaza. Very good Cetrion player. But oh my God, does he talk shit. The, he does not think that Cetrion's in the top five. I don't know how you can think that. This character is beyond brain dead. Beyond brain dead. She has good staggers up close and she's got amazing projectiles at full screen. Then she has a H2O port which allows her to get out of corners. She basically gets out for free. I know she spends more meter, but the meter comes back fairly quickly. So it's really not a massive deal. The character is inherently stupid. I mean, there's not really much else to say about her, to be honest with you. Like I've gone through the whole cast, not the whole cast, but you get, you get the gist of it really. The next thing I want to talk about is the throws. The throws in this game are, they're just, it's just so bad. Now, I'm not saying that Tekken is the holy grail of throws. Maybe Virtual Fighter is. I can't remember how they work in that. But look at this. I grab him. That's a forward throw, right? The animation was exactly the same. So it's like, okay, you already have to guess which way you're going to be thrown, which is stupid. But when you guess wrong in an NRS game and you get thrown, you get the escape fail. Now, escape fail means that the next throw is going to be a crushing blow and crushing blows do 310 percent on throws uh, 310 damage 31 percent for the life of me i can't understand why there is no visual indicator you guess wrong 31 percent gone look at that much damage now you've got this character right just walks up to you does this and then if you guess wrong you're gonna eat the combo. Now this isn't even optimized, and look how much damage that did. But yeah, you're like, okay, cool, that's like, whatever, it's a 37% combo. But then imagine like, he's in your face again. You don't break the throw. You've just lost over 60%, over 70%. Off what, what was this? Yeah, really skillful. I'm really putting my back into this. And then you press a button, that happens. Look how much damage. Now that's not the end of the damage. Look at the life bar. Now whilst that's going on, Braca's going to be in your face trying to oppress you. Your health bar is going to be right down there. And for what? Because I was doing this. Yeah. You're real skillful. Yeah. Sick. Gassed. Gangster. Absolute nonsense. Sort the throws out. There should be a visual indicator. And I don't think any throws should have crushing blows on them. Actually, let me take that back. Crushing blows on throws can stay, but give them some real requirements. You did a good job with Spawn and Jokers, giving them something different, adding something else to it. But all the other characters, it's just like, what are you doing? Even if Shao Kahn and Shang Tsung's ones make more sense. But I don't understand what you're doing with most of the cast. There's no visual indicators on this shit. None whatsoever. So whilst we're in here, let's talk about fireballs now. Let's talk about fireballs. How'd you do this guy's fireball? There we go. You see that? Do you see how stupid that looks? Do you see how dumb that looks? He does a fireball. <laughs> now he can run up on me and do a full combo. What? Because they, they couldn't work out that having fireballs clash is stupid. Guys. Oh my god, NRS, please wake up. Okay. First of all, that is, that's dumb because it kills the neutral of the game. I can't play a full screen fireball game against Sub-Zero or most of the cast because Sub-Zero will freeze you at full screen. Cetron will catch you in water at full screen. Garrus will have sand that will appear beneath your feet. Why Garrus's thing is not a mid at least, at the very least, makes no sense to me. They, I mean, if, they, if their goal was to irritate people, they've done a fantastic job at it. So to summarize, that is why people can't take losing on this game. When I play Tekken and someone beats me, I'm not saying there's not bullshit in Tekken, but I'm like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. That I mean, yeah, I, I probably deserve that. When I'm playing this, every time I lose, I'm just like, I lost to some bullshit and I'm fully aware that when I'm winning, I'm putting them through that bullshit. 
That's the kind of game we're dealing with here. The game is so stupid that I cannot admit defeat when I lose on this game. I'm always just like, yeah, that was dumb. That was dumb. I was, I was just, I was getting mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed, and they were plus and they were plus and they were plus, and I had to keep guessing. It's just like I don't understand why they don't want to retain their player base. Stop frustrating your players so much. I'm telling you guys, the best attempt that NRS ever had at making a competent fighting game was Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. That game had some nonsense, it had the power-up mechanic, was hella dumb, but the neutral in that game was, it was beautiful, it was, it was like playing Tekken 5. It was like playing Tekken, it was, it, was, it was in and out, it was in and out, you know. You got a couple hits, you reset the neutral, you walked around a bit. They need to return to the 3D fighting games and just take out that power-up mechanic Take away some some of the absurd damage in that game, like one of Kano's uh, butterfly attacks, I think it was called, did way too much damage. A couple adjustments here and there, you know, not so not so many mix-ups. Make it a very neutral based game, and you know you got a winner. But this game is so deeply frustrating, so unbelievably frustrating. It's just like, uh, guys, come on, man. And just before I end the video, I just want to talk about Fatal Blows. Fatal Blows are another mechanic where I feel like they really didn't think it through properly. Look how fast that is. Instant. Now, it's it's already pretty quick. It's got armor on it. There's no startup animation at all. It's just out there. Like, the amount of times I've caught people with that. Because it's so lightning fast. It's just that like, don't give people a tool to mash even more. Like there should be some startup animation on it. It shouldn't be that quick. I just don't, I don't understand what goes through their heads because they made this game for the tournament scene. This game was made for tournament players. And they made it very clear. Not only did they cut off the custom variations. Now I'm well aware that the game would be far more stupid if customs were available but you know I mean if they're not gonna balance the the, the base game what's the, what's the point in even worrying you may as well just give us the customs they cut that off they're all like oh this is gonna be a very neutral base game but fam NRS don't they don't know the first thing about neutral they don't have they don't have a clue what to do with neutral not a clue it, it's not it, it's not rocket science NRS it's really 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 simple Stop making full strings safe. Stop giving characters a billion options to wake up. Stop giving characters a billion options out of their strings to mix people up. And stop putting crushing blows in dumb places. Give us some visual indicators when the characters go for a grab. Or, if better yet, if you don't want to give a visual indicator, take a note out of, out of Street Fighters but can make it one, one button tech. One button tech, we're good, we're good. And then maybe, you know, if it's a one button tech, it's much easier to tech throws. Maybe three throws in a row gives you a crushing blow. I don't know, something don't, other than what you've got. What, you, what you've got is a joke team, fam. This game, it's just frustrating. It's just a frustrating game to play. But, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm I'm very very disappointed in in this game. I never whenever I lose I'm always just like it always just feels like that's not my fault. That's not my fault. And I'm sure some of it is my fault without a doubt, but the game is just so irritating that yeah, it's just like uh but yeah, this is this is a 30 minute rant. I um I I just, uh, I don't know guys. I don't know what's wrong with NRS, but Till next time, innit?